Indian intellectuals, both at home and abroad, non-resident Indians living in the U.S. and Europe, uh, they do have an agenda. And unfortunately, many people and many intellectuals find it difficult not to conflate their personal political views with what is supposed to be an objective evaluation of a country's democracy level. Uh, to be clear, when, when these organizations rate Indian democracy, they don't do it as organizations. That is, they don't send their own staff out on fact-finding missions. Imagine how many staff it would take to do that for 200 countries. They rely on the advice of expert panels, people they've contacted who are familiar with the situation in each country, who then report back to these organizations. Now, I'm sorry to say that in India, many people are perfectly willing to use international organizations as a tool to promote their own political agendas. I can't point fingers. I don't know who is doing that and who is not. All I can say is that the circumstantial evidence is very clear that, let's face it, most Indian intellectuals are not fans of Prime Minister Narendra Modi or of the BJP. And Indian intellectuals as a whole are those who are filling the uh, information forms for these international organizations. Mm -hmm.